Hi, I think you're following me to score the 2000s in the EMSAT exam. Okay, let's go. You want to score the 2000s? Look at this question. What is the serious expansion of the ratio sine t over t around t equal to zero? Now, the serious expansion of sine t over t around t equal to zero is known as the Maclaurin series. You heard that in calculus. It can be divided as follows. Let me show you. Now, starting with the Taylor series expansion of sine t and t around t equal to zero, we can write sine of t is equal to t minus t to the power 3 over 3 factorial plus t to the power 5 over 5 factorial minus t to the power 7 over 7 factorial plus and so on. Let's call this one. And now what about t? t we can write it as t plus 0 plus 0 and so on. Let's call this as 2. And now dividing the equation 1 by equation 2 to get sine t over t we can write sine of t over t is going to be equal. Now, the first equation divided by the second equation as if you are dividing by t. So, which means that t over t, which is equal to 1, minus t cubed over 3 factorial divided by t is equal to minus t squared over 3 factorial plus t to the power 5 over 5 factorial divided by t is going to be equal to t to the power 4 over 5 factorial minus t to the power 7 over 7 factorial divided by t is going to be equal t to the power 6 over 7 factorial plus and so on and this is what we call it Maclaurin series expansion of sine t over t and this is the answer of this question you like it look at this question they said the length of the curve y equal len of secant x from x equal 0 to x equal to b where b between 0 and pi over 2 may be expressed by which of the following integral? Let me show you which integral we use to find the length of the curve given here. Let us start by L is equal, which is the length of the curve from A to B for the radical 1 plus dy by dx squared all dx. This is a formula we use to find the length of the curve. Now, given the function y equal to len of secant x, we need first to find dy by dx. So now, dy by dx, which is dy by dx is equal to d by dx for the function ln of secant x. Let's find d by dx for ln of secant x. According to chain rule, the derivative of ln of secant is 1 over the inside of the ln, which is secant x, times the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of secant. The derivative of secant is secant x tangent x. Now, simplifying 1 over secant times secant tangent, secant and secant cancel, you are left by equal to tangent of x. Now, according to the length formula, we can replace dy by dx by tangent inside the formula. So it's going to be L is equal integral from 0 to B for radical 1 plus tangent squared of x dx. Let us simplify more. You know that tangent squared x, we can replace it by secant squared x minus 1 so that the minus 1 and plus 1 cancel and we can take them outside the radical. Let me show you how you do that. So it will be integral from 0 to b for radical 1 plus tangent squared. We replace it by secant squared x minus 1. That's inside the radical. And here we have dx. Now plus 1 and minus 1 cancel. You are left by integral from 0 to b for radical secant squared x dx and you know radical secant square you can take secant square outside the radical it will become secant x which is equal to so we can write 0 to b for secant x dx then the length of the curve can be expressed by the integral from 0 to b for secant x dx you like it let's go for another question look at this question they said let f be the function f of x equal to x cubed minus 3x squared, what are all the values of c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem 
of differential calculus on the closed interval 0 to 3. Nice question, right? Now, to apply the mean value theorem, we first need to verify that this function, which is f of x equal to x cubed minus 3x squared, satisfies the conditions of the theorem on the interval from 0 to 3. First condition, which is the continuity. Is the function continuous? On the interval from 0 to 3, the function f of x is a polynomial, and polynomial functions are continuous everywhere. Therefore, f of x is continuous on the interval. This is the first condition. The second condition, which is the differentiability on the interval 0 to 3. Now, the function f of x is a polynomial also, and all polynomials are differentiable everywhere. Therefore, f of x is differentiable on 0, 3. Now, since f of x satisfies the condition of the mean value theorem on the interval from 0 to 3, we can apply the theorem. The mean value theorem states that if a function is continuous on a closed interval from A to B and differentiable on an open interval from A to B, then there exists a point C in the open interval AB such that f prime of C is equal f of B minus f of A over B minus A. f prime of C is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Now, what do we need to find? We need to find f of b and f of a and replace it in this equation. f of b, which means that it's f of 3. f of a, which means that it's f of 0. Let's find them. So f of 3 is going to be equal 3 cubed minus 3 into 3 squared which is equal to 27 minus 27, which is equal to 0. And what about f of 0? f of 0 is going to be equal 0 cubed minus 3 into 0 squared, which is equal to 0. Now also, f prime of x, f prime of x is going to be equal to 3x squared. We drop down the 3 and we take away 1 from the power, minus 6x, which is 2 times 3, and, and x becomes to power 1, so it is minus 6x. Now, we can apply the mean value theorem, so which is f prime of c, and then f prime of c becomes equal to f of 3 minus f of 0 over 3 minus 0. Replace the values, it becomes equal to 0 minus 0 over 3, which is equal to 0. Now, to find the value of c, we set f prime of c equal to 0 and solve for c. Now, it becomes 3c squared minus 6c is equal to 0. Taking common factor 3c, it becomes 3c into c minus 2 is equal to 0. Solve this equal to 0, you get c is equal to 0 from the first one and c is equal to 2 from the second one, which means that the values of c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem are c equal to 0 and c equals to 2. Does it make sense for you? Good, great. And here I can say that we reached the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share, and welcome to the math for fun, and bye for now.